Hello guys, it's AppGeeker here. Welcome back to our channel. Nowadays, Zoom meeting is significant in our life because of the epidemic. I believe many of you now work from home and have the meeting with your fellows via Zoom. Or you are having online courses. You know, recording the Zoom meeting is convenient for us to replay the meeting. Then you may be struggled with the meeting recording on Zoom. Don't worry, we'll show you how to record a meeting in Zoom in specific. If you are interested in, keep watching. According to the Zoom official, we can see that Zoom only allows the host to record the meeting via the built-in feature on the computer. If you are the host, follow the coming steps. Here I'm on my desktop. Open the Zoom on the computer. Them signing in the meeting. You'll be brought to the Zoom official site. Here you can create the meeting. Once you are satisfied, confirm it. Click Open the Zoom meeting in this pop-up window. Then you can start a meeting. When the meeting starts, you can click the record button here to record the meeting. Then the record button will turn to two buttons. You can halt or stop the recording due to your demand. The recording will be saved as an MP4 file after the meeting ends. Now I'm going to stop the meeting and exit if. When you exit from the meeting room, see, a pop-up window will notify you that the recording is under converting. Once the file is converted to MP4, you'll be asked to save the video in the output folder you want. I'll name it Recording and save it on my desktop. Later, the desktop folder will be opened automatically for you to preview the recording. It's easy for a host, isn't it? Then you may be curious about how to record the video as a participant. We've mentioned before that you can only record the meeting directly as a host. But if you are a participant, you can also record the meeting with the approval of the host. All you need to do is contact the host and ask for the permission to record the meeting via Zoom. But in fact, if there's no permission, no matter if you are a Windows user or a Mac user, you can record the Zoom meeting as well. The first method is use the Xbox Game Bar. This way is for Windows user. Now I'm on the Windows desktop. After joining the Zoom meeting in advance, press the Windows and our keys to launch the Game Bar. If it doesn't work, maybe you haven't enabled the Game Bar. You can go to the Start and choose Settings. Here are several setting options. Choose Gaming. Then choose Xbox Game Bar. Please make sure this button is toggled on. Now I'll press the Windows and R again. Here are several recording options. Click Capture and click the Record button to start recording. Or you can press Windows, Alt, and R to start recording. See, the recording process is running. To stop recording, press the same shortcuts. But remember, if you change the window or seize the size, the recording will be stopped. For Mac users, you can use QuickTime Player. And I believe you must use it before. Now I'm on the Mac desktop. Open the Zoom meeting and finish all the settings. If you are using Mojave and later version, just press Command, Shift, and 5 at the same time. And you, you can see this toolbar. But if you use the earlier versions, you need to open the QuickTime Player. I'll exit this toolbar first. Go to the launch pad and find the QuickTime player. Open it. Then click File in this top left corner and choose this new recording option. The toolbar will appear as well. Later, set the recording range. By default, the microphone audio will be captured. Just click this recording button to start recording. But you can't record the audio from computer in this way. To solve this issue, we suggest you to use a third-party tool. 
AppGeeker is a professional tool that can record the Zoom meeting and other on-screen activities with both internal and external audio. It works with Windows and Mac and the process is straightforward. To record the Zoom meeting with AppGeeker Screen Recorder, we should download it from the official site. I've already downloaded before. The recording process is almost the same on Windows and Mac. Here I'll take Windows as an example. After downloading and installing the tool, open the Zoom meeting. You can see I'm a participant and don't have the access to recording the meeting. Before the meeting start, open AppGeeker Screen Recorder. There are four options we can choose. Video Recorder is the most common one. Click it. And the interface will turn to this. Then you can customize the recording area. I prefer using the full screen because there's a possibility that the host will share the screen. Then turn the system sound and microphone on to record the meeting audio and your sound simultaneously. After then, click the rec button to start recording the meeting. After the meeting ends, hit the stop recording button. Then the recording will be presented on your screen. The process is simple and user-friendly, even newbies can handle it perfectly. That's all for today's video. If it helps you with recording your Zoom meeting without permission, please give us a thumb and share it to your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tricks. See you guys in the next video. Bye.